morning. It is Monday, the first week of November. Today, or actually this whole month, I'm trying to do a reel every other day. I don't think I have the capacity to do daily content. It's just not my thing. I think every other day is a good goal that I can strive for. I'm gonna see if I can do it this month. But today's reel is about Polaroid Polychrome. I think it's called Polychrome. I can't remember, um, but it's Polaroid 35mm film positive. My friend Jonathan and I went out and we did an impromptu shoot and it was like really quick. It was like 30 minutes, the sun was going down. We didn't even know if we were going to get anything because the film had expired in like 1986 and they don't make this film anymore. All the film is really, really old and expired. Um, I think he got it off eBay. I can't remember. He saw a video on it picked it up and was like, hey, let's go shoot. So we wanted to go shoot. This is what it looks like. It's a slide film like this and you can't really tell what it is until you put it in a um, projector, slide projector. And this is what it looks like. And the whole shoot, it was so cool. Again, we didn't know if we were gonna get anything because it was expired and with expired film you have to kind of use a lower ISO to compensate. So I think he was shooting at like ISO 12 with his Konica Hexar. They are beautiful and easily one of my most favorite shoots. I really want to go shoot again with him on something like this. Anyways, I gotta make my reel. I'm gonna do that and then afterwards I just have some other things that I need to do. I have for work. I have to finish these bags. They've been sitting here for a while. If you don't know, I own an art store. It's a physical store in my hometown and we sell art supplies. I've been making like a bunch of little bags for my little store, <laughs> pretty much. And I think there's like almost 50 in here that I have to finish. They're like 70% done. I just have to do the corners and some finishing things. So I think I'm gonna do that. That's pretty much my day. Let's do a little Hubie update. Hey, pork butt. Hi. Hi.
This past couple of weeks, I've been going to the Goodwill Outlet Bends with my sisters and my mom. So I'll show you a few things that I got. I got this thermal long john sort of shirt. And then I also got this maroon sweater. I really like this color. It's really hard to find clothes that are maroon that don't lean more purple. Um, but this is like the perfect dark red. I also got this sweater. It's a nice green sweater. I like the knit ribbing. It's really pretty. Um, this is St. John's Bay. And then my mom actually found this really nice Columbia. It's a little big for me, but I think I'll still get some use out of it because I go hiking all the time. And it's just good to have another raincoat laying around. It's Columbia brand. And my favorite item that I got is this puffer kind of bomber jacket. At first, I didn't know if I would like it because it's like so big and puffy and it's a size large and it's a men's jacket, but I'm actually in love with it. I've worn it for the past few days in a row. Um, it is also St. John's Bay as well um yeah score on that i also got some wrangler pants and these are actually men's straight fit wranglers and they don't look like they were worn like at all it looks like somebody bought the wrong size and just donated it afterwards so i snagged them and funny thing is my boyfriend and i wear the same size so i was initially going to like take the waist in just a little bit um, because like men's pants, they're usually at the waist, they don't cinch in a bit like women's pants, like high-waisted pants do. So I was gonna maybe take it in just like a little bit, but I think I might just share with him when he gets back or something, I don't know. This year was like the first time my boyfriend has stayed with me for like longer than a month. And I think he was kind of sketched out that there was so much menswear in my closet. I think it scared him a bit, but then he realized, oh, she goes thrifting and goes to the bins. <laughs> and it's like not other dudes clothes. Like I do not care. I like to be warm and comfy. <laughs> even if it means wearing men's clothing. Oh, I also got this thing. Um, I think I'm actually gonna crop this one because it's huge. This is like an extra large. Let me show you my mirror. This is like an extra large pullover sort of situation, but yeah, it's really long. So I think I'm gonna crop it like around here and have like a really stretchy adjustable elastic waistband and maybe puff the sleeves because I I'm tired of rolling it up. I think I might take the sleeve, like the shoulder sleeve in just a little bit because it is an XL. I don't know. It's comfy like this, but I'm also thinking like, I kind of want it to be a little bit cuter. Maybe like one of the things that I thrift flip. If I thrift flip, I don't know. Oh, look at that beautiful glow. You're so pretty. You need your nails trimmed. We're gonna trim your nails today. three times today and it's only two o'clock.
QB has an announcement to make. Yeah? Anything else you would like to contribute to the blog? Yeah, that was a good snort. Thank you. Are you the center of attention? Yeah? You got boogies. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta clean these boogies. You got boogies, girlfriend. Morning boogies. the bed head I haven't gotten ready for the day yet but today is Thursday um, a few days ago Jonathan and I took some photos on the ferry and I think I want to develop that today because I have some extra time oh hello anyways yeah I'm gonna develop that film today get ready I have some errands to run at like Joanne's and Cora and so I'm gonna go to Joanne's with my mom because she loves Joanne's so we're gonna go I've been making like these cargo corduroy pants for my sister and we're getting the hardware today it's been a journey man this whole thing I've been making her do a lot of the stuff she's like 13 going on 14 um, so she's like learning how to use the sewing machine and the serger and everything and I'm making her do most of the work but today we're getting the zipper and the button from Joanne's I think that's it I think that's like most of the stuff that we're gonna do today I'm actually gonna cuddle a little bit with Hubie because she looking she looking kind of sad <laughs> why you look so sad what happened is it because I cleaned your boogies <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. always the hardest part using the dark room bag it's probably gonna take the longest this actually went surprisingly fast it feels right hopefully it's not crinkling at the end because that would suck I think it's working though so I'm only doing one at a time because my developer fluid might be on its last leg. I have another roll of 800 tea um, that we shot at night, but kind of want to see how this one does and then do the other one. something. Hopefully it looks okay. <laughs> Let me go dry it. If you hear Hubert, she's excited that I'm back in the house and she's chewing on a toy. <laughs> a little bit better if it was a little bigger. <laughs> bigger. Okay. Is that so black? Blue. That's blue. It's a film camera. So Jonathan was going to go get film developed and we were just talking about this on the shoot that I developed film for. Um, we were just talking about 
what camera I would buy if I came across it. And I told him specifically, I want a Voigtlander Besa R2A. I kid you not, the day after I said Voigtlander Besa R2A, he messages me and he's like, hey, I'm developing film, I see a Besa. <laughs> and I was like, is it an R2A? And he goes, yep, it's an R2A. <laughs> he sent me pictures and I was haphazardly like kind of joking like, oh, I need it, I should buy it. And then I looked at the price. The price was, I know it's a big price. It was 1200 but, 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 this version can go up to two thousand um, dollars and that's not including shipping and having to deal with customs and the length of time you'd be able to get it and it was right here in Washington for twelve hundred dollars so I bought it <laughs> I bought it then and there I asked him to hold it and um, not to hold it but I not to like put it on hold but I asked him to like kind of like see if like the shutter worked and like if things were okay or if it looked okay and he said it looked really good and this is my dream 35 millimeter camera what you know money comes and goes photography photography is forever no, I'm just joking. I'm super stoked, but yeah. I'm gonna go develop that other roll of film because I didn't develop my other roll of film. Just got back from Joanne's. I don't even know if I said that. I'm kind of all over the place. This vlog is all over the place. I'm sorry, um, but I'll see you in a bit, I guess. You look so cute right now. You look so Okay, so here are the pants so far. I just had her try them on and we're gonna do a few different alterations. The waistband was just a little too high-waisted for her preference, so I think we're gonna take it down an inch. And then if we take the waist down, then it's gonna cut the pocket off to where it's only like this wide to fit your hand in. So I'm gonna drop the pocket as far as I can go. There is a little bit of space here, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And then obviously there's no waistband yet, but the zipper is put in. The zipper was kind of a bitch to do. It was my first time doing a pocket flap, sort of flap zipper. Fly, fly, it's called a fly, oh my God. Okay, my first time ever doing a fly. And since I'm taking in the waist and the zipper's too long, I don't know if I have to redo it or if I can just adjust the stopper or I can just, cut it off. I don't know. I've never done pants before, so I don't know what I'm able to do 
I just did a basting stitch real quick to sew it together just so that she could try it on and I can make some alterations for her. Yeah, the front has these seams. I'm gonna double stitch these. And then on the back, we got the pockets in as well. And they're looking good. I double stitched the pockets already. I double stitched this already. I haven't double stitched the yoke yet just because I think I have to alter it. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. There's hanging threads everywhere. I also have to still hem it, but I'm not gonna hem it until everything else is done. Almost done, they look good. I'm kind of jealous. I kind of want to make myself some pants now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next vlog.